hey today we're going with this broom right here pretty big brush this is the 10098 or maybe I might call it the Pro 98 I think uh, from Omega you can call it the Pro 98 from what I hear it's got the 100 prefix and uh, Roger Quintero 3d printed bowl link is uh, in the description I've had this brush soaking for a little while now and it needs it because it is one of the slowest one ones in my bore rotation uh, to uh, to start breaking in but this is only the 11th or 12th shave so it's fine it's fine I have to remind myself of that because since I'm breaking in so many it, it is a little slow um, so we'll see how it gets once we're up to 30 uses or something like that the uh, razor we're going to use today is a Kai I've used it two times before not used that one very much it's probably been about a year since I have <coughs> This soap is a used one, and it is, and this is the older packaging, Chiseled Face, Ghost Town Barber. It's made by Groomatorium. Those are the same guys who make um, uh, the, the new Stubble Buster line that's, uh, that's good for people who uh, don't, who may have allergies or something, and they have very mild scents that aren't really probably going to irritate your skin. Performance is excellent though, but the scent strength is just very low and the cost is is really nice on those Also tiki bar soaps as well. I have the captain from them and I, I like that soap a lot good performer as well And so even though this is the older packaging The scent strength on this is is very nice. I that's one of my favorite things about chiseled face Is there nice medium to slightly higher than medium scent strength? And the razor for today is going to be my Timeless Bronze that I've been using and enjoying lately. A chunky dude. And he works really well. So let's load up this blade. Kai's are really funny blades because there's no markings on them. Just blank. Alright, so the uh, brush has been soaking for about an hour or so. I think I may have said that. And we'll just load up. This is a dry puck. And I shake most of the water out. Uh, it is distilled water. Since I was doing the long soak, I didn't want my hard water to mess with the brush. Cause buildup and that kind of thing. All right, so at 55, we'll start. And that way, for a 30 second load, we'll end at 25. Got a little bit of water in the brush and that's kind of causing some bubbliness to stir up right away that's all right never had a problem with any of the chiseled face soaps my favorites from them are sherlock and uh, oh let's see there we go uh, i did a couple seconds longer than 30 seconds so we'll just roll with that Gonna get out the excess right there. Uh, Sherlock and Midnight Stag, those are my faves. At first, I didn't like Ghost Town Barber. I had a small sample of it, and um, I uh, I wasn't at a. I was early in my wet shaving adventure, and I just hadn't grown to have an appreciation for the barber shop type scents. But now I, I like it a lot better than I did before. I do have an O-ring on the uh, base of the bristles there to kind of help rein it in a little bit. Once this guy starts expanding, I might have to put another one on there. It's, these are long bristles. Now this did not get bubbly right away. It's kind of staying, staying kind of pasty. Some soaps, the soaps are just different that way. So that also means, since I soaked in distilled, I will also be uh, using distilled water to uh, make my lather. We have another water issue. I don't know, was it 
three, four weeks ago that I had a water issue. And it's just such a pain to shave and to rinse out your brushes and all that stuff when the water short, the water kind of stuff's going on. So I might just kind of take that as a little hiatus and not shave. I don't know. Went ahead and put in one teaspoon. Another thing that uh, I like about chiseled face, other than their nice scent strength, is, and I'm getting it nice right now, all the way coming up from the bowl, enjoying it. Um, another thing I like is the uh, kind of the masculinity of a lot of their scents and the uniqueness is uh, I really enjoy Midnight Stag. It's very divisive. Either you love it or you hate it. And uh, things like uh, Tar. There's one called Gearhead or something like that. Yeah, it's got some more normal ones. Like I think there's Easy Street that is uh, a tea based scent um, they've got one uh, Santa Paula which is an orange and spice or something like that they've got the famous cryogen I'm not much for cooling agents on my in my uh, shaving products and so I don't I've never tried it it's supposed to be like the most extreme of the uh, menthol type cooling agent soaps Uh, banana was just released again. I think uh, it spent some time in production a while back and they brought it back again. It's kind of funny though. They've got a sense of humor at the Groomatorium. That's the one who makes all the these soaps I just mentioned. Stubble Buster and Tiki Bar and Chiseled Face. Um, they said we're they made an announcement online that they were releasing it but please don't buy any we don't you know <laughs> it's kind of funny because they came they're treating it as if kind of pretending you know we, we don't know why anybody wants this but you know don't please don't buy any it's pretty funny lots of backbone in this brush do a little oh nice cushion yeah, see, that's why this is a good soap. Just nice and slick and thick. If you like it thick, you can just don't add as much water. It's a good soap. Now, Chiseled Face hasn't really been on the recent train of pushing out some new base that has post-shave features and extra slick and incorporates some new exotic animal fat or other type of ingredient but I think it's a good product so I don't I don't think they really need to change too much really So we're looking at about uh, two and a half teaspoons of water added to this lather. 33 second load, I think it was. Something like that. A little bit over 30. Let's show you the, the lather. It's not getting all high structure wise. It's kind of staying kind of creamy looking. It's a little bit kind of staying together pretty well. Yeah, look at that. Let's put in just a little bit more water. I think we'll be ready to go.
think we're looking pretty good. Let's just try that. Sometimes I like it a little thinner, but I figure I'd stay on the creamy side this time. See what happens. A little water on my face. Big old brush here. My rinse water is my tap water, which is hard and cold. Yeah, it kind of looks like it's a little on the dry side. So let's uh, hydrate in the bowl. Hydrate on my face. Not very prickly. I mean, just a tiny bit. Pretty comfortable for the most part. Yeah, that scent is strong. I like that. Maybe a 7 out of 10. And I like it. Very rare to have a soap be that strong. And this is an old one, too. Isn't that cool? Cold water. Whew. I think it's like 39 outside or something. I haven't used the Kai in a long time. Some people relegate it to legendary status like feathers, but right now it's performing very similar to you know, a lot of other blades like Gillette Silver Blue, Gillette Platinum, at least for me, in this razor. Just like the, uh, actually I think the 7 o'clock black was probably a little bit better cutter. Of course this also could be because my lather is a little on the thick side. It might not be helping the blade out quite as much. Definitely early on, I had the Kai and had experience where it was just a little bit too bitey for me, a little bit too aggressive. And I'll rinse this off. Okay, once I was done with my rinse, I went ahead and uh, added another about a half a teaspoon to the lather. And as you can see, it still looks great. I mean, really, this is a good performing lather. It may not have the silky feel, the post-shave properties of some of the new top-tier stuff, but I don't really care about that. That's what balms are made for. I'd rather have my soap be a soap instead of trying to be a lotion, too. And then just uh, after a little bit of splay... Flatten it down, use the side of the brush, painting strokes, that kind of thing. We don't need a lot of excess. Plenty of lather for the job today with that 30 second load. Mm hmm. A lot better glide with the razor. But the uh, Kai still doesn't feel. You know, like it's in some kind of extra sharp class that sometimes people attribute it to. Of course, that's just how it feels for me right now with this razor. Could be different if you were to try it. Even if you had the same water hardness, the same lighter, and the same gear I'm using right now, it, it really your skin and all that, your hair type and hair density, all those things come into play. Really comfortable pass here.
just kind of on autopilot. Uh, I have a lot of confidence in this razor right now to keep this blade under control. Seems to be doing well. And I will rinse. Cold rinse. I may have to bring in a little bit of warm. Alright. Poor budding trees out there with this temperature drop. Hopefully it won't set us back too much. What a great, this is just a great lather. There's, I mean, to me, there's not a reason to mess with this formula. I mean, sure, you can if you want, but it's great. It's just creamy, slick, feels great. Very, very nice. Been a long time since I've used the uh, chiseled face soap, so I was glad to, I got this in a, a lot purchase. I was glad to bring it up. It's in a touchy area here. Let's see how the Kai handles it. Cross grain pass, basically. Got to be careful. If I go too far in certain directions, it switches to against the grain and I can bring myself some razor burn over in this area. Loose grip on the razor. Not loose to be able to drop it, but loose to... Uh, Keep it lightly on the skin. That's a good shave. I'll do that water stuff tomorrow. This might be my last shave for four days or something like that. Go to the Walmart bathroom. Wouldn't that be funny? Go to some place public like that and set up your, your shave stuff and get your brush going and all that. That'd be kind of funny. All right, let me rinse this off. Got a little bit of length over here. Um, I don't think I did... I think I did my good pass kind of on this high side up here, but down here it's, uh, let me do a touch up right quick. Tiny uh, splash of water there, kind of prime it. See how everything works. Could be that this blade is just a little, little touchy, a little too rough. For, for my skin, that's all right. Yeah, it's definitely not as smooth for me than most of the other blades I've tried. Reasonable residual slickness there. All right, we'll go with that. You know, one of the fun things I've done lately is uh, anytime I come across a, a really mild razor that I'm enjoying, I, I'll put the feather in it. It's kind of known as a sharp blade, and I do think it is a little different than a lot of the others. Some people online don't like it when you say it's sharper, but I don't really know any other way to say it. Um, I don't know if the Kai might be in that class too, um, but... Uh, I think I'm going to bring it in next time I have one of those type razors, uh, just an extra mild one, because a lot of times you'll get the uh, the mild razor will protect you from the kind of aggression of the the blade in the case of the feather, and you'll end up with this wonderful cut that's also it was just inside of a smooth shave, and so 
curious as to whether the uh, kai would do the same as the feather. Also, this is just the third use of it. Could very well be that uh, put some uses in, could smooth out, behave a lot nicer. All right, so in the end, we used, <clears throat> and I definitely think uh, about three and a half teaspoons for a 33 second load is uh, probably about right. For this for this lather and I was uh, feasting feasting on wonderful creamy rinses between each pass and I've still got two maybe three passes left of lather just a really nice really nice product and great great scent all along the way it's a masculine scent uh, barbershops are fairly masculine anyway most are at least this one even tweaks it a little bit more. Um, it's uh, it's different, and I really enjoy it. Uh, sometimes I may go ahead and you know step back to the kind of traditional uh, barbershop sense, but I think this guy will always have a uh, have a place um, with me. I really enjoy it. Like the uh, write up says, just a little twist on the existing barbershop idea. So this one is being slow to develop, and that's that's all right, like we talked about earlier. Not a whole lot of the tips have split after just uh, uh, 11 or so uses. And it, you know, it has been soaking in water for between an hour. Uh, with this one, sometimes I'll let it go a little more, so between one and four hours before each shave. Um, so that's accelerating it a little bit, I believe. I um, love this big handle. It's in, it's uh, enjoyable to hold, and uh, it. Oh yeah, there's a there's some tips that have really split nicely right there on the very end. But a uh, little bit of prickle still. Um, not really too much to bother, but it's still there. Um, it hasn't gotten really comfy yet, but it's very usable. Um, and sometimes these slowly developing brushes. Who knows, by the time they, they break in after a hundred uses or so, um, some of them take nine months of uses to break in. But, um, you know, when they do finally get there, they may be, uh, they may be stronger and hold together better uh, and give you a, a little bit, you know, it may start out with a lot of backbone right now, but it may uh, open up and splay and, and turn into a a brush that has just the right amount of kind of medium backbone where the comfy ones now early on that got friendly quickly uh, they might get a little bit too soft later I mean, I'm very interested to see about that uh, scent of this soap kind of warm and spicy and that instantly calls to mind Pre de Provence number 63 uh, maybe in the same kind of family at least in those terms uh, this is a thicker uh, balm, and so I like to take a little bit of water and just kind of put a few drops around. Makes it easier to spread. We'll try out that much. Yeah, that was just right. It's not leaving a lot of white on my face because it, it's taking longer to absorb instant smell. I like that a lot. I think it, I think that does go well with the Ghost Town Barber. I think they work well together. All right, excellent. So, um, the Kai surprised me. I, I just expected it to be a little more like the feather just a really firm consistent cutter but it just it just wasn't really um, and, and that's just the way blades go uh, but the uh, razor was enjoyable to use today the soap is terrific what a great reminder about what a great base they have um, and I'm pretty sure it's tallow got cool things like aloe vera juice yeah beef tallow coconut oil, mango butter, avocado oil, some good products in there. Um, yeah, so this is a tallow formulation, and I do like the tallow soaps.
in many cases. All right, and the, uh, you know, the brush, we already talked about that, so I think we're good. Yeah, yeah, the, the 63, the number 63 really works well with the ghost tone. Bar. So happy with that all the way around. All right, well, time to get out of here. And uh, this is Sugar Daddy Shaves. Uh, you take care. Have a good night.